two today. Do I actually need to do Twitter announcements? I just really don't know if it... You know, I'll, go, I'll do it, but only with the dog GIFs. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone actually looks at them. Well, even if it's like one person. Yeah, I guess um, so. I uh, my phone... I don't, I don't know where my phone is, honestly. Oh, it's here, it's charging. Thank you for looking for my phone, Aww. Chris. It is such a big house. And a cute dog. Bye. This is my Steam group. Oh, I love him. Hey, Birdo wants to take it. Bye. Hey, Lime. I don't know what music to put on today, so I thought I would just start the stream instead of spending the first, like, instead of just being late, you know? Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now I'm too warm, I was too cold. Oh. Alright, that'll do. I was too cold and now I'm too warm with my nice blanket. That seems okay. Hey everyone. Hey Beaver. Blob Funky. Hey Mozzarella. Oh yeah, there was background stuff going on. I completely forgot. I completely forgot we were doing background stuff. We need to give you a black outline, don't we? Don't Donut say he'd fixed the background thing. He like sent it to me. Hmm. Is this it? The rainbow beams. I will send the code as soon as I've made it readable. Where is it, Discord? Bean 3D version 1. Bean 3D. Source. That's not it. That is it. Oh, it needs to be extracted. Bean 3D. Source. Open this stuff in Notepad. Hang on a second, chat. He sent me an example of Bean 3D. Send me an example of this. HTML. Hey, potatoes. Um, I don't know the best way to look at this, so I might just. Data. Reveal in File Explorer. I'm assuming main has nothing in it of value, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to rename this to bean3d.header. Bean 3D.C. I'm going to put that into the data file just so I can look at it inside the editor. Hang on. There you go. Close everything. So, this is what he sent me to get the background working.
Hello, if Zelda was a girl, she'd bait date Metroid. I agree, Beaver. Um, let's have a look. While running frame counter, latest frame time equals standard chrono steady clock now. <clears throat> Pass options. Load bean shader. Oh, I guess there'll be a shader somewhere, right? I need to yoink. Bean.frag, bean.png, bean.vert. <coughs> Move that stuff over. Position is projection matrix multiplied by vertex. Hmm. What did we call the frag? Shader, right? Man, I'm very tired, apparently. How are all of you doing, chat? I'm, like, actually quite exhausted, apparently. We're in the background. Right, I think some of this is quite similar to what we're doing. Maybe it's the shader that's the most important part to change. You're also very tired. It's fair. You have an angle, do you? So I need to include an angle somewhere, but other than that, that seems to be the same. What is M angle? Oh. Oh, the angle is the angle of the background. I see, this is what you're doing to make the angle scroll. The I see block. Where cookies see your life is pretty good. Hell yeah. Try and load in his bean. Set repeated, set smooth. I'm more curious to see what would happen. Hey, Waste. I am coding. What are you doing, Brother Reno? Oh, it does just work, huh? Neat. What a genius programmer. You're not, you're not sure is. Uh, I need to try and fix the way it's getting rendered then. The gold chimkin. Hell yeah. You're melting this time your friend's flat instead of your own. I'm nice and cool today, so I win. Watch out, waste. Yeah, it's pretty okay here today. It's very, it's like actually quite cold. Game.c++ <sighs> When's the background being loaded? I don't remember what it's called. Backgrass.png, I guess? Oh, here we go. Set smooth. 
generate MIP map. And then there's also, well, let's try running that first of all. Hey. Try like, end this a bit. Ooh. Oh, it's all weirdly smoothed. Oh, I don't like that. Um, where am I looking? Well, the smooth might be what we need to do. I kind of hate it there. We need to change the angle to something like 20 degrees. About M angle because minus twenty. Oh. oh my god. It's wild. I agree, heck brother, who you be? Why is it doing that? I would just set the angle to like a one then. This angle system confuses me. angle plus y multiplied by angle. What a very strange system. This is fixed donut. I feel like it should be going to here. Not the middle of the screen, which is like here. I thought we had the middle of the screen thing fixed. Can we do indie games again next week. Maybe, yeah. I had a good time this week with it. I need to sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. Only reminiscence of something, but you can't put your finger on what. That's fair. Oh, I like this. Well, I kind of hate this, but I like it. 
It's way too fast. Kind of neat though, isn't it? It needs to be shifted to the left. <sighs> that smoothing is like breaking my brain. Right. Yeah, that's bonked. That's not quite right. I should just try and run his program, shouldn't I? How do I do that? Main.c++, open with Visual Studio. Can I just run that? Okay, no, that's not it. Hey, Bakarami. Yeah, I hate the smoothness, honestly. I think it's kind of awful. How's it going, Ami? Render texture M background target. I remember. You, yeah, he said he was doing it some like a different way. He was rendering it individually in its own thing and then positioning that on the screen or something. Oh, it's a different drawing target, right? But we want it to have the same settings as the windows. Anti-aliasing level. I see what he's doing. I need to pass in the window then, or the window settings. I wish I knew what type this was, so I could, you know, define it. Context settings, I think. Context settings. Consume pancake. This might just be context settings, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Well, I don't need a copy of the settings, do I? <sighs> 
God, this is some weird stuff. M play area straight. Right. What is that? It's just some sprite. What does this mean? It's not given a texture, is it? Hmm. I'm assuming that's just like the, the cutout, right? Hello, Sheik. You want to get back into coding again and remake the Discord bot, but watching Bullen code is more fun than dealing with it yourself. Teehee? What are you up to today, Way? <sighs> hey, I found out something. You know how, like, last week... For a change, I decided to apply to like a zillion graduate jobs, and then I was sad because none of them replied. Um, according to my sisters, those things take like months because they're different to normal jobs, so I'm not too fussed anymore about that. They like run on like a rotational system. Because you know, I was like, you know, I had a first and I worked for a year. You think I'd be able to get a graduate job? So the fact that no one replied was like a little like, what the heck? What are they expecting from these graduates beyond then? Anyway. Last name change, you're probably known as Shika. Just call me Sven. Hey Sven. Break a leg with that. Thanks. I guess I'll be doing more job searching tomorrow. You have to get back into coding, you've been too depressed to do anything for a while now. Do you have any targets? Any targets? Do you have any ideas? Do you have any, like, ideas of what you might want to do? That might help. Oh, I'm too tired to look at the screen. I've been waking up consistently at, like, 8-ish, but Chris keeps randomly waking up at, like, 7. And then I wake up at 7. And it's like... What to do? Even if I go back to sleep at that point, it's like... I've kind of lost the, uh... Lost the REM or whatever, you know? Zed, 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 Zed. Anyway, sorry. Uh, in render background, he's doing some different stuff here, actually. Let's yunk this stuff. Quick rundown on what's being done here. You started machine learning and you're still interested, but you haven't done anything in a long time. Why don't you continue doing it? Machine learning's really cool. Tomorrow you'll have to wake up at 5 because you're doing a driving thing at 6.15. Are you learning to drive, Waste? You'd like to start working for the first time in like 3 weeks, do you have any tips or tricks for it? You'll like start working for the first time in 3 weeks. Were you... Um, furloughed or something? What do you mean? Coffee's gone cold. Um, I understand. Okay, so yes, the way the way that Donut was fixing the background. So the way we were drawing to window originally was using a render target. But what we're doing for the background is actually having a second render target purely for the background. Moving that around 
Setting the size to the size of the play area, so everything's properly located and sourced, you know, so the middle of the screen is the middle. And then drawing that on top. Or drawing that as well, I suppose. Yeah, years later than you should have, because you get a job that was a four minute walk from your flat, so you were getting the driver's license to put on ice. That's fair. How's it been going? That's very early. Why are you doing something so early? States equals render states of default. States dot shader equals bean shader. Like, you'll try to get a job for the first time, but with the pandemic, you're scared of not getting anything. I mean, I haven't found anything yet, but I can't imagine it will be any worse for you. What sort of job are you looking for? Driving is scary, but learning to drive isn't the worst thing in the world. Being doing good. Because it's early, you're being driven off to do a slip course where, you have to, where you're going to slip about on slippery asphalt to learn how to settle skidding and stuff. Yeah, that's cool. He's open for your left, but it's fading slowly. Good for you, Wiz. It sounds like it's going well. Don't get anything, you're moving your 3D enough so you can start working in it. Hopefully. Man, anything, you're 17, you got out of high school. You'll have a much easier time, I imagine. If you're happy to- you can try and like maybe apply to like supermarkets and stuff. That's like a classic teenager job. I had one. Most people in my family had one, I think. Supermarkets are good as well, especially if you get the one that your parents go to, because then they get a massive discount. Definitely gets less scary the longer you do it. That's true. Slip course sounds terrifying. Yeah, I never had anything like that. My driving lessons were- they started when I lived in the forest. I was horribly overcharged. Um, and they were pretty useless. The man taught me almost nothing, and it was a huge waste of money. Um, like, I failed the test, and the guy was like, man, you really don't know anything. And I was like, wow, thanks. I've been doing this for a few months. Um, so that was cool. And then, like, a few years later, I went, moved to, when I moved to Oxford. Well, I moved to Oxford the year after that, but a few years later, while I was in Oxford, I, started to, I decided to pick it back up again. And I had to do everything from scratch, but I got a better instructor. And eventually we got through. But like my first driving instructor just drove us to the middle of the forest, just off like an A road, and just put just put me in the driver's seat and said just figure it out. And I was like, okay. Monk ass. Not very good, honestly. It's somewhat new here too, but it's obligatory, which makes sense because the winter and the roads get super icy. That's fair. That's also fair, icy block. It's good to try and do- if, as it shows, um, commitment at least to the job that you're trying to get. Like, if you want to go into 3D. Do you mean, like, Blender and Maya and stuff? 3D animation, yeah. If you- it shows that you really want to do it, if you're willing to learn, learn in your own time. I had a weird driving experience. It was really not worth it in the end for me to learn to drive. Because I ended up just moving to London anyway. So I probably spent, like three grand, four grand or something on learning to drive. Not worth it. Very expensive. I also own a car, but I don't use. Battery's currently disconnected. Sounds like a shame, honestly. Um, What are we doing? Oh, 
Right. Weirdly enough, I think there's a single uni that you're interested in your country. Yeah? Um, are there not that many unis there? Or is there any couple of courses you want? You have a license for mopeds and tractors, slow moving things. Any of that license is what gave you the fear for driving, because while doing the practice for it, you drove the moped into a ditch. <laughs> I really like driving. I think driving a car is extremely fun, but I hate other people on the road. Like, if you gave me the entire world, but with no one else on it, I'd happily go anywhere. But the moment you start putting other people on the road, I start going a bit like, oh. Because there's always a dick, right? There's not always a dick. But you always tell yourself there's always a dick. That makes it more annoying. It's quite weird, because I drive my car almost never, but when I do, it's always such a long one. Like, I drive all the way to my parents' house with my sisters for Christmas. Or, like, between all the parents' houses. Or, like, I drove up to Ox London from Oxford when I was moving house. And then it just basically sits on the road for a bit. Um, what are we doing here? Driving a forklift can be good fun. I've never had an opportunity to drive a not car. They sound kind of cool. Other vehicles. Just drive through the Great Plains of the USA, you won't see anything but farms for miles. Yeah. But I live in London, which is the biggest city in the United Kingdom. One of the biggest ones in Europe, surely. I don't know. Densely populated, at least. Everything's either a one-way road, or it's not a one-way road, but it should be, and there's cars parked on both sides, and there's no way you can fit two cars down the middle. Be Siberia. Have you ever travelled around the EU? I went to the Netherlands with Chris a few months ago, but that's the only time I've really been abroad since I was, like, two. We went to, like, France or something. That's where I got my Game Boy Advance from from France. London is number three in Europe. Yeah, so yeah, I live in the third biggest city in Europe, apparently. I really don't need the car, and trying to get anywhere with it is a pain in the bum, honestly. Anyway, sorry, we're trying to make a background. Set up beams. Yeah, so here it's setting the window target to be the size of the play area and then offsetting it by 15. I understand. I need to go into game and pass in the settings. Am I storing the settings somewhere? Uh, what is it? SF. Context settings. Well, I'm mean, sort of storing it up here, aren't I? Is that not options? No, it's not. <sighs> M window. Render window dot get settings. Don't 
Something like that, maybe? I mean, that's under setup beans, but... Something like that. And then it's uh, background controller dot in place. We pass it in settings. You've been in London twice before and driving there seems like a nightmare. Sort of. Oxford wasn't exactly a cakewalk either, honestly. Like, the outer skirts was fine, but like, inner Oxford is like... Hell. It is, you know, tiny cobbled streets. People walking in the road non-stop. Like, 65k is a lot for a town. Yeah, that's a ton. What am I missing? Compile it, tell me. Oh, shit. Unknown M shader, unknown whatever. Never yeah, where though. M shader dot load from file. What was I loading from file here? M bean shader. Where's M bean shader? Why would I get rid of that? Just ride a bike in London and Oxford. Do not ride a bike in London. Jesus. You'll get run over by like eight people. Right, it compiled, but I'm not expecting it to work because I think I've still missed out some parts. Yeah, okay, so this is the usual background stuff from before. Um, I think we need to set the sprite somewhere, which I don't think we've done. Yeah, this stuff. that bit. Set texture rectangle. I see. Depending on your surprise to all the enemies it turns into an actual video game. Maybe. Do you not think it's an actual video game because the enemies are squares? 
Full Super Meat Boy. Am I doing the set position thing? I don't know if I need to. M Bean Sprite. Maybe background's uh, player is sprite isn't the the frame. Oh. Maybe it's the actual background thing. Hmm. Yeah, this is something for keeping me going right now. I'm pretty proud of the work we have managed to do, honestly. Let's try this. The artists are all the time doing random objects and stuff to learn, usually, to keep prop usually props to keep in a folder. Yeah, I mean, I need to make a virtual portfolio or something. There's so much stuff I can do. I haven't gotten around to doing. <sighs> like, I even ha I do have a, like, web domain and stuff. I haven't used it in a long time, though. I think I've had it for like two years and I've done nothing with it yet. Like I meant to use it for uh, like even like stream redirection or something. Just to make it easier to type than twitch.tv slash a woolen sleeve link. Alright, let's... Let's create this thing. Where am I? Procedural goal. Oh, I forgot about procedural goal. Probably shouldn't, because I think I spent like half a year on it. Straight. Like half a year, like working all day on it. Kind of surprising how long it took, actually. For it and the write up, I suppose. I'm glad you enjoyed it, one. Maybe I should dig up some of my old Game Maker projects. I think it's still sitting in the files of your computer somewhere. That's pretty sweet. Um. I guess we can just do this in in like the render background section. That's not what I wanted. <sighs> See what that does.
Hey. Cross. I think it needs the smoothing. Okay, the artificial smooth seems to have helped quite a bit. Everything needs to be given a black background, or a black outline. Let's do that now, because I will forget. Good god, that's bright. Open. Donutset.png. You want to have a look at this? I'm just going to quickly give everything a black outline. Luckily, I apparently gave everything the opportunity to have a black outline, so that's pretty soon. Is that a built-in thing? Maybe there's a built-in thing for it. Oh, there is a replace color. Oh. That's not quite what I meant to do, but okay. Is there a magic... Magic wand tool? Yeah. Get out of here. Oh, this isn't Photoshop. So if I do edit... Stroke, I just press S. That's not quite what I meant to do. Like that? Okay, I found a way to automate it. It's a bit weird, though. But okay. This, select, modify, expand, one, then press S. Pick it. Select, modify, expand, one, S. Select, modify, expand, one, S. Yeah, it's just donut. That's the meme. Nah, it's got to, everything's got to have the, the outline. It's an artistic style. Well, that's fine. Let's also get... I think actually everything else might be outlined. There's like a weird vertical section in this and I don't know where it is, but once you tile it, it's really obvious. Hamburgers with Viking horns. Take a guess. Waifu Chan's outlined. Okay, let's try doing that again. Developing the art style, exactly. I think I might make the bullets like a lot bigger, honestly. Yeah, like he's, he's visible now.
That bubble needs to be a lot bigger, doesn't it? I like it. I think this is cool. You can't see the health outline up there though, can you? It needs to have a border. Or be fully coloured. You learn so much about the game once you start changing the background just from being a straight blank. Well, let's try out... Let's try thickening every bullet by a border of one. Yeah, it needs to be one off from actual transparency there. Okay, that's a pain in the ass. Let's actually do it this way. Let's expand it by one with a black outline, and then let's also expand it after that with a white outline. That or we could just do this. Including the section down there that actually sort of works. Thick bullets. Oh, then now I can make it more like a circle, actually, can't I? Something like that. Should make them visible on, like, all backgrounds. Hello. This is Aspirate. Aspirate. What bookstore do you use to make the game? I use the gym. Do you think the game would break if you made them bigger? I don't think it would break much. This is a boxing glove, of course. You should recognise that. This one's a bit too thick now, though. The game's not like even remotely balanced yet, so changing stuff like this right now is pretty reasonable, I think. I just want to raise visibility.
I think by giving everything a clear defined outline it should make the game a lot better. Because the last thing you want is to not be able to see the things you're meant to be dodging, right? Someone's almost dead. Hello. Yeah, I'm quite tired. Hello there. I don't know how to see what things are now, actually. Hmm. Well, let's just try it for now with the thick borders, honestly. We can hit save on that because I've got backups and stuff. Honestly, I could like double outline then. Maybe that would work as well. Ultimate contrast. Might be too hard to see though. Hey, yeah. Let's just give that a go for a second. The pair should definitely be on top of their own bullet. I mean, the bullets are easier to see now, right? They're definitely way easier to see. That does seem to make things a lot easier, doesn't it? You know what I mean? I like how the stars are still being rendered, by the way. It's kind of funny. I think I should try making it so character models as well also have um, the white outline. They won't fit though if they get a white outline. They won't fit within the sprite limits, which I've set. Does it make their legs like a little bit shorter maybe? Yeah, the order is a thing that we've written and defined. Because look. It's outlinable, but he's a bit too thick. And the player one is. You think just black is good enough for the characters? Are you sure? Because I think Donut looks very thin with his current outline. You know what I mean? I 
Like the player itself looks okay. But like this thing here looks a bit thin, doesn't it? I don't know, what do you think? Maybe it is okay. Maybe giving it a white outline might be a bit confusing. Yeah, maybe just black outlines, okay. The problem was on like dark backgrounds, you can't really see your own character's legs. You know? I feel like that might be an issue. Let's have a look. If we make the entire... If we move each donut a pixel to the right in size, squishing him, I don't really appreciate the way it chose to squish it, honestly. Maybe one to the left? No, it always seems to take out the very middle first, isn't it? Left of the horn, left one, maybe? Yeah, that's okay. I even shift the entire sprite to the right. That still looks okay. I don't know, for some reason I'm just a really big fan of, like, black then white outlines. It's a bit plumper, which isn't a bad thing. Will he... Let's give this a go. You can do that if you want. I kind of like it. I mean, Waifu Chan doesn't fit with it. What can we do with Waifu Chan to make her fit there? Because some of these sprites exactly. Like, the horizontal border I'm fine with, but the vertical border does not fit. I can try just. I can just try, like, squishing her feet back a bit, maybe. Oh, that works. The bottom of... The bottom to... The middle section, and then squish it up. That one probably doesn't need it. 
Why is she looking backwards? Is it a meme you don't know? What do you mean why is she looking backwards? She's not looking backwards. What do you mean? Apparently there's a meme I don't know. She needs to lose like a little bit of height as well. Maybe. What is this? I don't know what you mean by looking backwards. She's looking forwards. You're the player from like the bottom of the screen looking up, right? This is when you discover a bunch of random invisible pixels you'd never noticed before. Yeah, it's just the player. Don't tell me you forgot about Waifu Chen. Most popular protagonist of anything ever. Not biased or anything, it just unfortunately is the truth. You thought she was an enemy? Well, just spoiled the sequel. Um, what's this all about? It's the first time you see the spray. Oh, have you not watched much of the streams, Icy Block? That's fair then. I don't know. How's it going, man? Makes sense your background code. Yeah, it took a bit of fiddling, but I think I got to understand it after thinking about it for a while. We've got it in a decent shape right now. Do you want to have a look? Looks pretty good with like an actual ground texture. I'm now giving everything outlines because I realized how hard it was to see stuff. So bullets are now extremely visible. What do you reckon about the outlines? We're, try we're testing stuff out. I've got backups and stuff. We want to go back, but... I think it's looking good. How are you doing, Donut?
goose sprites. Hey, Kinky. Random like grey blobs lying around. I don't get it. What did I do? There must be a pixel art method where you never actually use black and white. Like you draw everything in bright pink. And then later you go and replace colour with grey. And that way you don't run around with these like random like grey lines everywhere that you never saw because the transparent background is, uses the all colours. You just woke up but otherwise you think you're doing good. It's good to hear. Anything look out of place chat? You know what I can do actually? I can do a quick um, quick test just to see. maybe. Oh. Actually, let's use uh, this color. Looks good. Looks good. Good, looks good. Yeah, I didn't see anything. Minecraft updates out, yeah, we've been playing- oh, sorry, Terraria updates, yeah, we've been playing it. Alright, let's try this with the new waifu chance, sprint. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I really like black and white outlines. They're just, like, so visible, you know? I don't know if Enter the Gungeon or Terraria or something also use them, but... I'm a big fan of, like, overly visible sprites. It also means we can separate the back texture by just making it so it doesn't use white or black. You know? High visibility, high frame rate. It's all good, isn't it? Did you notice you could change the background angle? I did. I saw that you had it on a mouse wheel thing. Is the background too bright or are you planning on replacing it or tweaking it? The problem is that I want to try and keep using the Game Boy color palette as much as I can. That or I could use hyper-realistic like photos, like stock photo background, which would be kind of funny as well, I imagine. Like actual just straight up like royalty-free textures. Could be funny. But um... Like having like pixel art flying around in front of like ray traced clouds. That would be really funny. <sighs> but um, I don't know. I want the background. To, I want the game to look a bit shit. Honestly, I don't want it to look like it's been made by like a team of people. I kind of like that it looks like it's got that sort of one guy who's trying to do everything himself sort of vibe to it. Very reminiscent of my game makery stuff, I think. In a way. Infinite beans.
All right. Um, what we're going to do next is something. What is that? Uh, maybe I'll make the health bar have an outline first. Let's do that quickly. Game draw. Here we go. Very reminiscent of Toho itself. Maybe. Um, there's no easy way in SFML to draw an outline on some on a ghost rectangle, is there? SML outline rectangle. There's no outline, is there? Get the outline thickness. Set outline color. Oh well that makes that very convenient. <laughs> I was gonna like just draw like another rectangle just behind it, but this is even easier. Oh, whoops. Uh, this might not be right. There might just be color dot black, but. I don't know. Whatever it is, we'll fill in black there. Oh, that might be right. Hey. Are you doing okay? You're a bit hungry. Huh. I'm happy with whatever. We don't have a ton of food left in the house. Oh, that's an outline. We don't have breakfast food. Um, there's like, we don't have much toast, honestly. Oh, by the way, I like mauled the frozen tiger bread we had, so that stuff's gonna be for breadcrumbs. I like mauled the frozen tiger bread. It's like falling apart, but I put it back in the freezer so we can use it to make breadcrumbs. Yeah, it was fine. That was the burnt toast I had this morning. Um, can you outline text in this? Do you know, chat? Yeah, wrap might work. Honestly, it's kind of funny that I'm even using transparency because that's not Game Boy. -y. I think at some point I'll just replace that with just you flashing visible and invisible, but within the boundaries of not causing an epileptic fit. Oh yeah, those outlines make this so much better. You really can just see everything, can't you? I love, I love the like flip animation on those. It's so cool. We should have a setting that says background motion off just in case people get like motion sickness from it that just draws like a black background or something, or, like a texture. We should do the player bullets upgrade system, shouldn't we? No, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so the player draw is drawn on top of everything else. On top of their own bullets. Is that possible to do? 
I shoot. No, I can't. I don't think it is actually. Yeah, I've got the shift thing. Don't worry. The homing shot doesn't last very long. Yeah, I know. It's because it used to last way too long, so I overcompensated. If you can outline text. Yeah, that would be pretty sick. Maybe it's just the same stuff. I know this will set the outline color for everything. Don't worry. Oh yeah, it does have an outline on it. You're still seeing Ace Pro. I mean, okay. Sorry. Oh yeah, I need to make it so the text box disappears if you quit. See? Uh, what do I do when you when you get rid of the boss? I what say say dialogue does. In dialogue is equal to false, maybe. Maybe that'll fix it. Clear. Oh, it's not ordered mode. In the player draw, I need to make it so um, that has an outline too. Hey, Bumper. Player is right for another map as well, then why wasn't it accepting it? Oh, it's an optional. Well, it's probably fine. I guess I could replace it with an empty thing if it's uh, optional. Regardless, the in dialogue equals false should fix it. Yeah, that fixes it. That gameplay, you bloody best believe it. Make the shooting sound your old nuclear throne hit sound. I don't think I'm allowed to just use sound effects from Nuclear Throne, if I'm honest. Don't know how they'd feel about that. It's so obvious, like, with your character sprite and stuff now. You guys, the haircut. Hello.
Any major issues right now? No, not really. Nothing humongous, I think. Just need to add more features, honestly. Oh my god. Why does your character share the same outline as projectiles and enemies? Why are you asking that question? Would you not expect everything to have a nice outline? It's so they're visible on all the different backgrounds. I kind of like how due to projection it kind of looks like the background is actually like changing in size a little bit. Just due to the fuzziness with uh, drawing this texture. Yeah, I was thinking about that before. It's like more normally happens in Toho, doesn't it? You know, we could replace those um, stars with clouds in this level. Do I draw some little cloud sprites, chat? We could just have like some. Uh... Cloud. Or. We could draw the clouds the way that Minecraft does, where we generate them based off like Gaussian noise or something. Gaussian. Is it Gaussian? I don't know what they do. How many backgrounds are there? The one you're looking at. Like we could have like something that generates the clouds using procedural generation. And just draws a sort of random cloud looking fog. That sounds like fun. T plus plus gorge. Is it is it gorge? It's not gorge and noise, is it? What will it be? T plus plus. Not even T plus plus. Um, procedural clouds. This is the sort of thing I did for my dissertation. could bring up my dissertation and try and do that. Simulating cloud with procedural texturing. Can you, in SFML, can you draw individual pixels in a sprite? Like, can I make a sprite and then create a texture on the, on the spot? Because if I can do that, that sounds really easy. Procedural Minecraft clouds. Minecraft like blocky clouds. The clouds are not procedural in Minecraft. You just generate 2D noids and have a static set of clouds like Minecraft. I guess I could just do it like that. You can do SF image and then convert it to texture. What noise generation is there? Because what I could do is I could have like a buffer. So I could just make it so it generates a cloud like much bigger than the screen, scrolls it, and then there's always like a buffer of another cloud getting generated. And the cloud can literally just be like 
uh, I don't know, 128 by 128 pixel image where the pixels are randomly dotted, but the generation that we use to randomly dot it can be seeded through some particular algorithm. I don't know. This is how clouds work. Minecraft clouds are based on a static bitmap image tile. They don't change. Oh, Minecraft clouds are actually really boring, apparently. How far is Woho? It's about arm's reach, I'd say. Minecraft Clouds PNG. It literally is just a texture in Minecraft. That's a shame because I actually thought the Minecraft Clouds were um, procedurally generated. They're not. It's just a texture. Because it looks like it is, right? The, the Minecraft clouds look like they just draw a bunch of pixels and then extend that into a sort of 3D model in the same way that items held in hand are. Clouds. Behavior, they always float westward. They're rendered client side, they're different for each player in the server. The pattern cloud having the default texture pack. It really is just a really big pattern, huh? I found the Minecraft clouds shirt. This is the Minecraft clouds. I guess they were generated at some point, huh? Well then, uh, what sort of generation would you say this is? Like, just some noise generation? Perlin noise? Is that just like an online white noise generator I can use? This app will generate tile level Perlin noises. Cell size 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 16. Attenuation 1. Oh, I'm freezing my browser. Let's try to generate 34 levels of Perlin noise. White Gaussian noise is completely random. You're looking at something else. I think it might be Perlin. Hmm. I guess this is tileable, huh? What web page is stopping? It's not Twitch chat. Okay. Tileable noise. How do you generate tileable Perlin noise?
You need to make the Perlin noise tileable. It's generated from a bunch of random surflets, which are the product of a randomly generated gradient. You can make them wrap around with some period, the noise itself would wrap seamlessly with the same period. Here's a clever way to use 4D noise. Map the X coordinate of your pixel to a 2D circle and the Y coordinate to a second 2D circle and put them orthogonal to each other in 4D space. Adding dimensions in old math, I should this trick. Whoa. Maths is crazy. Walk a torus in 3D noise and generate a 2D texture about it. Well, I do love a good torus, the donut shape. It looks like a lot of crap to be trying to throw in. They look really cool though. Take the output of the noise function and mirror flip it to an image that's twice the size. That's very symmetrical, yeah. You know, honestly, it might be a waste of CPU power. I agree, it might be a massive waste of CPU power. Tiling noise. You know what I'll do? Cut that whole idea. We'll just make a cloud texture. You know? That way it will be tileable. But we'll just blur the shit out of it. That looks like shit. Um, how about a noise generator again, actually? Perlin. Perlin noise generator. How do I make a sprite 2D? Oh, did I just close Firefox? I didn't. No, I did. Okay. Goodbye, dashboard. I won't be reading you anymore, apparently. Welcome back. Hello, Twitch. I want to make this sprite color range. That's not it. I just want to make it one of two colors based off this noise. Color mode? More options. Ooh. Alright, Dinner. It could look cool.
got color curve, perfect. As long as they're like this, it should work. Let's do something like them. Sprite. Might work. Then what you do is you take... Oops. Honestly, this might be too many clowns, so we might not need this many. But let's leave it for now. Take that, and then move everything along. And then paste his friend over here. And then you take the top half, move that all up. Keep that down here. That looks good. Right. It doesn't make brain surface, but if we zoom in all the way like this, and then tilt it, it might be okay. You know? It's a test anyway. Oh my word. Um, M clouds texture. You have to do stair now, as you hate doing stairs in 3D. What's so bad about stairs? Oh, 
I'm kind of curious as to see what even this would do. I actually have no idea. Oh. It's boring, plus you don't have a clear view of what type of design he wants. Oh, that's pretty annoying then, yeah. Oh, is it because it's const? No. Maybe. It's because it's a reference. It's something that doesn't exist and the guy didn't specify. That's a pain in the ass. So, so far, literally nothing seems to have happened with that, so that's fair. It's because it's const. Alright, yeah. Um, Draw this, then draw this. This should be drawn on top. Is that not how that works? Then, uh, can I not just reset the texture and then draw it again? Ugh. Does that not work that way? Qualify usually means const. I'm sure the fact that a reference is also a bit bonked. Going pretty well, you think you can end the project in a week. That'd be pretty sick. Might work. Well, I didn't. That's why I'm asking, if you know why. Surely you can just reuse the stuff, right? Look, there's no clouds. It should be drawing at the same time as the actual background. I love that the stars are still doing their thing. Get out of here for a second. I guess the M shader, nothing is really happening here, is it? No, it is. Hmm. Yeah, it might not do anything. Yeah, it might be. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it doesn't care. Okay. Um, M back sprite. Oh, in which case, you're just going to do this then. M back sprite dot texture M clouds texture. Oh, wait, hang on. I think it's this bit I want. No, we tried doing that and it doesn't work. Explain yourself, Donut. Now I'm confused. What is this? Why are there two of you?
Now I'm confused as to what I'm even doing. Now it's destroying the background twice, right? Keep the bit you commented out. It doesn't do anything, though. You can't say something is important when it does literally nothing. What are you talking about? It's very important. Even if removing it changes literally nothing, it's just very important. It was born into the royal family. It just is important, you see. Don't question. I know it doesn't do anything, Al, but it might in the future. What does that mean, Donut? It literally does nothing. What? It's like saying, oh, Wollen, you should dig up eight, 800 stacks of redstone. I know it's useless now, but you might need it in the future when you inevitably make a computer in Minecraft. Is it just some OpenGL? You, you don't have to explain all of OpenGL, just that line. What did it do? What was the point? I don't understand. Also, I don't understand why I can't just redo it as uh, clouds. Backs by const. Just making sure correct texture uniform is correctly set. Right. Which I find to remember is the it's a variable that stays between all the states. Well that looks horrible, but cool. Does it loop? What was that? I love that it's trying its best though, you know? <laughs> Why is it doing that? Oh, does the texture need to specifically be set to that? I thought it's sprites that have those sorts of things set to them. Is it the texture? Oh, I guess it is the texture. Yeah, I get you, don't worry. I thought that was a sprite thing, so I thought it would already be set. Hey! It looks horrible, but I appreciate it's trying its best, you know? Yeah, it's in the texture. I should set the texture scale to massive, then. Let's have more texture scale. The sprite has set scale. Because if I want to make it so the clouds are absolutely massive, it shouldn't look so bad. The scale is a sprite thing, okay. You could shade the clouds to make it look more like clouds. I want them to look a little shit, honestly. You would just have two sprites. Or I could do this. Is that an expensive thing to do? Oh, it was a vector 2F. Oh, 
Ah. But it's trying its best. Yeah, I don't know what the scale was actually. Hey look, parallax. In my world? More likely than you think. Okay, turn off this weird smoothing thing. Just two sprites and copy and paste the scaling code from one to the other. Why would you want two sprites, sorry? Is this the scale? Music's strange. No, it will try to render too much of the texture off screen. Maybe. I guess I could just make them a bit transparent, right? If you do sprites, does it do that? Does it have optimization for drawing stuff off screen? Is it a texture and opacity thing, or is it a sprite thing? Must be a sprite thing, right? Set alpha. No? Oh, it's the set texture rect. Set color? Here we go. There must be a way to generate this noise automatically. Even if it's CPU intensive, it would be a cool thing to do at least. It does look pretty neat though, doesn't it? Sort of like parallax looking thing. You can try increasing the angle. Yeah, I was thinking about that.
I don't know what the angle is. Okay, that's the wrong way. I guess it's towards zero. I like this Minecraft cloud system we've got. I'm a big fan of it. I think it was 0.5. Angle is 0.2. Here it is 0.2 at least, I think. We can try 0.5 though. Yeah, the clouds look cool. Thanks, man. This looks a bit strange. Also means we can randomly generate ground below us. Also, we could just have the ground texture be randomly generated. Like you're flying around randomly. Or seeded, but seeded randomly generated mountains or something. That'd be pretty neat. You know, for random noise, it's very vertical, isn't it? Quite strange. So like that ground below us could randomly have little speckles of like sand and stuff put into it. Be a pretty interesting thing to do. Like there's not really much down there, is there? <sighs> Procedural generation is fun. I was like, I could even grab my own my own code for procedural generation and try and throw it in. But the problem with a lot of that stuff, it was like generated at the level start, not like as the level goes on, you know? I don't really know how we'd optimize it for that, or even how we'd make it scale infinitely. I guess I could look into that. Hmm. It's a real thought thinker, you know? Because we could have it so the, the ground could generate particular things, like if you're going over like mountains and stuff. It could generate sort of like fake mountain structures and like hills and valleys and stuff. Or if you're driving over like the ocean, it could generate like just different patches of darker and lighter ocean, you know? Interesting thing to think about maybe. I just constantly think about if this was like on like Steam, like if it was on the Steam Workshop, it would be pretty cool if people could like make all these things and share them. The whole game could have like a bunch of preset, predefined, procedurally generated stuff for like backgrounds. You could be like, I want to make like a nighttime cityscape level. And then you make like your character sprite and spell cards and stuff and upload them. That would be pretty sick. Hmm. A lot of interesting thoughts. 
What backgrounds are you planning on adding, Alisa? I might just make like a bunch of themes and just have them run through that. I know like Toho, I've been thinking about it because like Toho goes through particular levels, right? There's like a theme to it and a story to the levels. And I'm not nearly that creative, so maybe figuring out where I want to draw the line is important. So I can make it so there's like general levels and then maybe it tries to like interpolate between the stages. So like, if you're like a, if you want to make it fly up between, you know, this sort of grassy cloudy thing and then suddenly go over ocean, there could be some sort of way to do, do that. Blend the areas together, sort of. Might be cool. Hmm. Really puts into perspective the more I've done this, how much work goes into making all the Toho games. Like all the levels and all the designing and all the creativity and stuff. It's a lot of work. Um. I really should make it so the player's power goes up. I was I was actually just literally going to define that, wasn't I? Like a few streams ago, and then I never got around to it. So, where are we? Player.h. We need to make it so the player does additional stuff based on their power. If you're okay with the botched sprite scales, the code that tries to set it properly is probably still there now, except it's being overwritten. What do you mean? They're not... Botched sprite scales? What do you mean? What's botched about the sprite scaling? This looks good to me, doesn't it? What does this look like with smoothing? Not that I think I want to keep the smoothing, but just out of curiosity. Yeah, that looks horrible, doesn't it? I hate anti-aliasing, honestly. Stinky anti-aliasing. Yeah, I like it more when it's crisp. Alright, in player... Remove the proper code, or the one that sets it to be bigger than the screen. I don't... You, I... what? Sorry? It? The? It, like, what? What? I'm not following your head. Is this botched? Remove the proper code or the one that sets it to be bigger than the screen. What? Sorry? I understand that up here you set the texture rect to this. I can change that, like I can copy that down. Oh, the scale is 0.4 down here, see, actually. Scale is 0.4. You already are setting the scale then. What's the point? Hello. Big McQuinn on campus. Okay, so here we need to have the player's power come into question.
Do you not remember the set scale core you wrote in Draw that overrides everything? Does this override everything? Does set scale override everything? Because up here you're using set text or rectangle to like draw it on a particular part. Are you not? And then setting the scale again. Is this the simple maths? Also, you used a divide sign. What the heck, don't it? I thought you hated divide. <laughs> anyway, back here. I wanted to keep track of the sorts of player shots we had. So, where are we? Where is it? Bullet dot sprite, something like that. Here we go, bullet dot PNG. So the player is meant to be shooting these different things as they go up through the levels. Initially, it's just a bunch of those individually. And then I might also make it so... At level 2, maybe. Divides are necessary if the reciprocal is unknown at compile time. Okay. I was going to make it so that then it started shooting these out maybe at the diagonals. So I guess we need to have timers for all four bullet types, actually. M time until shot. So we need to have... We need to have this for all four bullet types. Because they all need to be shot on an interval, right? Make it so shot two is maybe a bit faster. Shot three is much slower. And shot four is the slowest? I don't know. Can you check the code that sets the sprite scale for the first time? Here you go. I'm gonna go take a wee. I'll be back in a second, chat. Hold on. Have a look at this if you like for a second. I'll even run code. If you want. Unless that covers the screen. Here you go. I think that's what you want. Will that work? Okay, it's not working. I'm just gonna have a wee. I'll be back in a minute, chat. Chat. I'm back. Hey yo. 
Então... Tá. For some reason you removed the scale constant you had put in above. And replace it with 0.3 in all three places. The reason the constant is important is because it lets you change it while also affecting the texture wrecked. Oh, right, I see. Oh, that door's opening. That's creepy. Hang on. Oh, it wouldn't work because this is called shot three. Cool. If you overwrite the scale afterwards, it will go off screen for no reason. If you overwrite the scale afterwards without changing the rectangle, it will go off screen for no good reason. I understand. Let's just make a scale then. For M scale. I was a constant, not a member. Here's a thing to do in the Hello, TFT Winter. Hey, what? Just have two separate sprites while you scale using the same code, just with different scale constants. Right. Yeah, forgive me for not thinking there was any reason to have the scale thing. I don't understand the point, honestly. Const expert. My eyes have like completely faded. Um, I'll get rid of that then. M cloud sprite. M back sprite. You will notice if you run being 3D at different scales, the text texture rec commented out it would not match the screen width when you scroll it away from the screen. Right.
Oh, Ging Dean. Good name. Thank you for the raid. Hello. Hey. Fitting name indeed, yeah. Hello. What were you up to? Is it not called M Cloud Texture? Oh, it's Clouds Texture. Just finished streaming Street Fighter. You're a nice boy, so you deserved a bit attention. Thank you. Which Street Fight? For, uh, which Street Fighter were you playing? I'm not really in the no one of them. The fighting was. But I know there's like a particular one that people like to play. Here we go. Is that right? Yeah. Street Fighter Five. Okay. Is this something you stream frequently? There you go. Okay, that seems to work now, don't it? I don't see any difference, but I take your word that it works. Oh, hello. Donut, everything's broken. That was horrible. What did it do? It stream TF2. But the boom arm for your microphone hasn't arrived yet, so you can't sit properly. Do you have to use like the default like snowball one or something? I think this is when I press space, isn't it? Yep. It's when I press space. Okay, what's happening when I press space? It's here. Hmm. Strange. This isn't your fault, this is my fault. I just assumed it was yours because I changed your code as well. You don't have you using the default sand. That's fair. Yeah, it's the game you stream the most. Do you have like a... I know some people who play Street Fighter and the other fighting games have like a little arcade stick with like a joystick and proper buttons set on it. I don't know what they're called, like a fight box or something. They're pretty neat. I think people make them for melee as well. You have three arcade sticks. Awesome. That's really cool. Games with like physical hardware. Extremely cool. It's like flight sticks as well. They're really cool. Hmm. I broke something here. I don't know why. Some people make fight sticks for Smash called a Smash Box. That's it. It's a cool name. Uh, what are we doing here? Player.c++. Okay, that hasn't changed much. Oh, wait, hang on. Time and... T oh, I've flipped them around. This should be the other way around. What headphones? These are Sennheiser HD 280 Pro, I think. Yeah. They're the old version. I think they were very popular, so they made like a version 2. But I have the original ones. I don't know what version. I think version 2 might fix the headband or something. It's still interval in a bunch of places, is it? You're right. I think I just copy and pasted the wrong thing. Very funny. Just goes to show it doesn't matter what you name it, because it's still just blue text in the end anyway, and your eyes are all fuzzy, so it's hard to tell. Alright, that fixed it.
Yes, I'm doing them this way. So if you're absolutely max power, that's the only way you'll get to shoot the final shot. I need to put this while in there as well. Yeah, imagine reading code. Yeah, ha ha ha. Got him. So the idea is to make it so the two randomly goes off, like shoots one to the left and one to the right. And the three just sort of goes like spiraling like a little loop, maybe. Don't know if that's possible. Maybe make three a bit more random. What is a Java? You mean a Java, right? Bullet controller. Oh, that's not gonna work. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. Uh, player power. So power at 100 shouldn't be any different than before. Actually, no, wait, this won't work. Uh, hang on. Uh, shoot, here we go needs to be like this. Yeah, don't worry, Donut. I'm going through everything. Don't worry. Might might work now then. Oh yeah. Also, when you get, when you die, it should get reset. So nothing's different now. If I set... If I set the power to 200, it should now try and shoot out small bullets as well. Okay, cool. They're trying their best, by the way. Uh, if I set the power to 300, it should also shoot what's-its-face. I've hit this power to 400.
That that sound needs to be so much quieter. Or we need to have a different sound effect for all the different bullets, I don't know. Bob. Hello, Ray. Ledge. <laughs> you assume a lot of Dark Souls, Ray. Are you a big fan of medieval armor? E++ just has this smoothness. It's so smooth. Alright, now why are these bullets doing nothing? Close everything here. He's streamed a lot of Dark Souls. Hell yeah. Ah, oh, here we go. Bullet. One velocity, two, three, four. Something like that, maybe? How's the coding going? It's going okay, thank you. How are you doing, Ray? Bullet one, bullet two, two. Let's also not do this. So only the initial shot can go with the player, maybe. Or alternatively, the original shot can go straight up. Hmm. You sound tired. I'm exhausted, yeah. Yeah, I can make it so the side shot is always consistent. That would be sensible. I'm exhausted, yeah. Um, do I have maths included here? Yes, I need to rotate. Velocity is just a thing. Do I not sleep well? I slept fine. Just very busy. Uh, I need to rotate vector. Do you stream later today? Yeah, we'll be playing OC. Um, if I'm too tired for OC, I'll play Slay the Spire. So, we have a lot to do. Um, I would like it so this is a rotated vector of this. Rotated minus 10. See if this works. I mean, we won't even be able to see it, will we? Bull 4. Because apparently there's no logic for this stuff yet. Have the evening off. No, it's important I keep my schedule up. I've missed out... Because I've had to see parents, I missed this Saturday's stream and yesterday, uh, last week's Sunday's stream. I don't want to miss out on more. Uh, plus I like streaming, you know. If I'm not doing that, I would just be doing work. By streaming, it means I'm putting off having to search for jobs and stuff to tomorrow. Alright, we need logic for this stuff, apparently. Shoot player bullet. All bullets stop place back. Be faster if instead of doing rotate victor- Oh, yeah, no, that's a, that's a good idea. I was wondering at the back of my head if there was a way to force this, and I was like, no, we need to calculate it. Much, much better idea.
This stuff should definitely be defined in the header. A wool he he merch, you would totally buy that. I don't want to do that because it's someone else's dog and it would be really weird to sell merch with someone else's dog on it. What's going on? Oh, it can't be auto. Ten would be huge. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, it is radians, by the way. I didn't think ten was that big. I do love wool hee hee, but it's not my place to use it beyond just an emote. I think. Cool. Um, obviously we can't see anything yet. Oh, here we go. It has to be static. It can be static, yeah, I understand. You know who owns the dog? Not personally, but yeah. Oh, that's not quite right. Looks so toho y actually. That wasn't really the intention. You can set the X components directory. Donut. Take a, take a seat for just two moments, alright? Have a sit. Where's the velocities? I guess we could. Um, we could have it so the left one is going... I don't know how this will look. But we'll see. Hey. I think they might shoot way too fast. Hello. You have a headache, Chris? One guess. going well, thank you. The background's starting to look good. I can put it on the left screen so you can see it in a second. Sounds cool to me. Can you see this? Yeah, there's clouds and stuff. Um, 
We sort of fixed it, but then Donut went through and made his own version, which we're now, uh, now using. Yeah, the clouds are pretty cool, aren't they? By the way, did you know the Minecraft clouds aren't procedurally generated? It's just an image. I always looked at them and thought they were just random noise that he turned into a model, but it's like, it is random noise, but it's just a 500 by 500 texture or something. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely easier to render, because it means it's uh, easier to on the processor. And it looks good. I mean, it convinced me to be random, didn't it? Oh. But look, I've, I've just been doing this literally now, so the player now has alternate shots. So you see the player's at full power here. Making it so they can shoot out other bullets. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It does look pretty gaming. Let's get rid of this plus velocity stuff. It's like San in 15. Hell yeah. I mean, it'll be broken for this stage, but this is max power. This is the sort of thing you get by like stage 3 or 4, isn't it? I kind of want to make it so the, um... Well, he instantly died. I want to make it so that the, um... The little thing spins. Let's make it so that the um, the fist thing doesn't really update much, and this one doesn't update too much either. Hello, Darko. Is this all from scratch? This is all from scratch. We're using SFML to draw to the screen, and I guess FMT to format strings, if you want to consider that. But no, this is all other than that from scratch. Man, these flipping things over here look pretty cool. Power should be capped at four. It shouldn't go above that. I think. Yeah. Um, player. Maybe it's under game, actually. Power's still not being drawn in the way I wanted it. No, it is being drawn the right way. Then I want power to be drawn to two decimal places. Draw. Power. M power text. You've never done it, use FML or anything like games or graphics. It's cool, it's cool to it in action. It is pretty fun. He is not using Scratch. <laughs> Get out of here. It doesn't seem to be getting formatted properly, does it? Alright, cool. Power isn't being reset properly, so that's nicely. Oh, power's not going above 4, I mean. 
I said reset because I meant to go into reset and change the power back to this and change the lows back to 5 maybe. I think he wants 0.2f. Oh, am I misunderstanding it? That's it. Looking pretty video gamey, isn't it? Do you want to draw like a random like difficulty thing up in the top left? Always a lunatic. <laughs> Bonkers. Um. Bonkers is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <gasps> hmm. Ultra bonkers. How will ultra bonkers look? Ultra bonkers. That seems like a pretty good difficulty name, doesn't it? Difficulty hacked. I like that. Be good. Oh yeah. I just call it diff. Hacked.
if hacked. How about just hacked? Oh no. Moy. Uh, I actually want to move it along a bit and have it in the center. What do you think of that version control? <laughs> I'm setting the origin somewhere else, aren't I? I should get that. That is the that is the origin. Oh, it's get local bounds dot width actually. Um, halfway down the width, and then also zero point f. Is that the width of the whole screen? Set position. Five forty minus. I just get the calculator out. 540 minus 432 is 108 divided by 2 is 54. Kind of funny how that works out, honestly. It's quite messy here. That's not quite right. Oh, the window size is 640, isn't it, actually? 640 minus... It's 104. This number should be 104. Where is this number? Oi. That's not quite right. Six forty minus. Maybe it is working, but the origin isn't working. Not 
No, the origin thing does seem to work. No, it's just experiment. We'll get it eventually. Is Holy See the Dark Souls of programming languages? What is Holy See? You have to do pep set position after. Really? This shouldn't matter. What do you mean up here? I don't think it should matter, should it? Oh fuck, you're right, so that string should be up here. Some madman made his own version of C for his own operating system because God demanded him to do it. Oh, was that Holy C? I don't remember him. Poor bloke. How the heck are we getting that width? Sorry, wait, go back. Oh wait, why am I using X offset? X offset includes... Minus 16? That's about right, doesn't it? No, it's not right. Where's paint? Half of 16. Hang on, I want to see how much off it is. Yeah, it looks like it might be off by 8. Magic numbers. You're a magic number. That looks much better, doesn't it? Yeah, initial glance, that looks perfect, right? Yeah, it's close enough. Whatever. Yo, Chris, is that lunch? Holy, holy, holy moly of heck! Yo, brother! Look at this pile of food. Wow! Thank you, Chris. Half a tomato, half a bell pepper, some basil. You are a wonderful landlord, Christopher. This is my house. Is it? Who pays the rent? I thought you just paid me 50% of the rent for fun. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Pay Chris in large chocolate rabbits to consume. Bah! She barred. I'd be frightened. Thank you very much, Christopher. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Yeah, just turn it off. Yeah. Just turn it off. It's fine. You can turn it off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Hey, y'all. Um, I made like a eggless chocolate cake yesterday for fun, and it was okay, but then I covered it in like salt and Baileys, and now it's pretty good. Just thought I'd let you all know. Anyway, so now we can have officially the Moy difficulty. Salt and cake. It's um... What am I gonna say? It's um flaked salt on a chocolate cake, yeah. It's pretty normal. It was a little tasteless, but the texture is very good. It's like a brownie. 
You should look for Viking Blowed Mead. Mead sounds good. It's like honey beer. Well, not beer. It's like honey ale. Sort of thing. Alcohol. I love honey. Not only when your power goes up does your power like basically quintuple, but also you shoot out way more bullets. You might scale way too quickly. It's wine but like tastes like cider from bee vomit. Hell yeah brother. It's the best kind. Ah, this game's tough. Red juice. Hell yeah. But yeah, I'll give it a go at some point. I really I really like the idea of mead. Like, honey alcohol is my favourite. I should definitely just make a sprite for this, by the way, the like hitbox viewer. If you blow up stuff with bombs, they don't actually drop items, it's kind of funny. That really shouldn't be the case. I don't like grape juice, so it's a crochet upgrade over one. Hell yeah. I should have a particle system at some point, shouldn't I? You can't even go to 2% power, 20% power over this whole thing. Hmm. Seems pretty good to me, right? Alright. What do we do next, chat? We have like still another like two hours or so. Um we could try and balance the power a little bit, maybe, if we go into game. Like, collision? Enemy bullet collider. Pick up collider. M player power. Power. We can like halve their power basically. This might be really stupid. Like a pointless clock cycle. But whatever. It's a modifier.
Yeah, that's good enough. You long for the more innocent times in Project Woho where you could spawn beans and watch one carefully until one hit the corner perfectly. You know you can still do that, Turbo Burner 2014. Conversion from float to what? Is power not a float? Oh, power's an unsigned. Well, never mind that. Screw that then. What's current health? Is that also unsigned? We'll find other ways to do that, maybe. Maybe we'll make enemies' health quintuple. I know I could pass it to float before multiplying. I'll just leave it for now. We're not worrying about balance yet. How do you do the health bar? I think you missed that stream. What do you want me to explain? Health bar's done every time you every time the boss's health changes, it recalculates a number used to scale. It basically recalculates a boss's health percentage. And then in draw. It draws a rectangle to the screen with some particular calculations and interpolates the colours between red and green. The interpolation is also done when you hit the boss. Not every single draw cycle. What are you eating? The wrap Chris just made. It's filled with feta and bell peppers and stuff. Very good. There you go. I'm just going to make it like that. I think that looks a lot better. There's a few other ways to do the interpolation that doesn't make it all dark in the middle. But I don't know how much I care, honestly. Like, if you interpolate it from um, RGB to HSV, or whatever it's called, you can make it neater. It seems kind of unnecessary, though. Yeah, 
Looks pretty good. I think it looks good. I've just added the background thing now. I should give the boss way more health, honestly, again. There's so many features I want to do, but I can't be asked to start on any of them. It's kind of funny. I didn't get really close to these bullets. I can't be quite right. That bullet went literally over you. Yeah, I mean, hitboxes are meant to be a little funky. I know it has built-in stuff, but I did it that way so I could define them if I chose to. So if I want to change the colours used, I can just do that. I know that there is a built-in function for it. I just want to check the boundaries. Yeah, the bullets are just not very big, honestly. Remember, the actual bullet hitbox was originally based off the uh, very centre of the thing. Similarly here, I guess. It's still possible to get hit. I just don't want the game to be like too, too, too tough. But yeah, we could make it so the uh, the cards have slightly bigger ones, maybe. The boats came from the bottom are a bit annoying to dodge. I know. It's all extremely wood, don't worry. You can just sit in the boss. Yeah, why not? The boss isn't doing anything wrong. I mean, honestly, it should, it should let you, it should kill you if you touch the boss, but whatever. Yeah, like, if you manage to make it up to the boss and stay there, good for you. I feel like it shouldn't be drawing the background on the main menu. You know? The idea is doing patterns that um, are absolute and not relative to the boss's position. You'd want the um, you want them to be shooting up more homing shots. Right now, they just shoot one on occasion. Hmm. 
I don't really know what to do next. Maybe I'll make the main menu more of a system. Yeah, I'll make a main menu system. Let's do that. What are the bullets moving on? What do you mean? What do you mean no one's raised to make them move? What do you mean? It's a whole system we made. They move along a grid? No? What are you talking about? Look. The level is structured this way, so it spawns enemies at particular points and everything's done in a text file. Yeah, they have positions on the screen, sorry. It's not it's not like a grid. So the enemies are spawned along, and when the boss is spawned, the boss is defined within this file called um mid boss. Right? This is the file that defines what the mid-boss does. His name, health value, what images they use, the dialogue and what images to use with the dialogue. See? The individual bullet types that they can do. What each bullet does every single tick. And what the bullet can do as a path. The, the spell cards, basically which would use those bullets and generate them at particular patterns. You know, make 50 spiral one bullets and spiral two bullets, changing various tick, uh, step, sec, you know, every 16 milliseconds or whatever, I don't know. It's a, it's a constant timer that controls how often stuff happens in the game, right? So we've got a few tech cards here. You can manually define each bullet, like with neutral spray, but you can also loop it, which is something we rate. So instead of having to write out 50 different spiral ones, you just say do this 50 times. And this is the instruction set they use. So at first, they move to this position on the screen, 200-200, use their first dialogue, I've commented the spray stuff out. I can actually pull that back. Um, they're meant to spray bullets at you. They move around, do a few sprays, move around, do a little tech card, move around, do a tech card, and then until you kill the boss, it just cycles the last one over and over again. So yeah, for example, the um, it's called a wobble, but the weird like grid pattern you were talking about. It's a bullet that does nothing every tick, like it just continues along its path. And then every one second, it will go to the next one of these steps. So it will loop like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It will rotate 90 degrees, rotate 90 degrees, rotate back 90, rotate back 90. Yeah, the scripting system is really cool. The idea is to make an in-game system that will write this all for you. So if you want to create a boss, you won't actually have to write this out manually, although you can if you want. Um, the idea is to be able to make it so you can manually edit this sort of thing in like a GUI, see what the effect would look like, and then save it to a file, and then create your boss that way. Um, the way tech cards work, as you can see, is that you can define how each bullet is shot out. So for the wobble, which is actually just the square, I was originally going to make it like a... well, like that, but I decided square looked cooler. Player shooting... Oh, uh, it's not a pattern. So the player shooting is literally just a bullet, for example, bullet type 1, like the default little circle you've seen going up. The update bullet call for shooting a bullet is literally just update the position going at a rate of 500. And the bullet has a velocity set in here. Uh, somewhere down here. So when you shoot a bullet normally, the velocity is set to bullet 1 velocity multiplied oh, in addition to the player's own velocity but at like half of it. So the idea is if you move to the left it takes about half of that left velocity and adds it onto the bullet's default velocity and the bullet's default velocity is literally just straight up 
minus 500 because positive coordinates are down and to the right. So by moving x nothing but minus 500 up, the default bullet will move minus 500 up constantly. Yeah. No, 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 it goes up minus 500 and the update velocity, update accelerated position takes that acceleration and norm and uh, multiplies. It's 500 every second, yeah. It multiplies the current speed. So that means it actually accelerates. The bullet goes faster the longer it's out. The boring bullets that the enemies shoot, like these little red shots, they're called boring because they don't accelerate. Like these bullets just go. Whereas the player shots actually accelerate. Yeah, there's the spray shot. So you haven't seen this yet because I commented it out. Oh yeah, you can comment out in the script system as well. It just skips the line if it sees a hash at the start. Yeah, so the boss does a couple of sprays, shoots out a thing. Right now you can see he shoots out one homing bubble at the end of this first wobble. This bubble here. The idea, I guess, is to make him want to shoot more of those. I wonder if I should keep track when I let people generate their own boss patterns. I wonder if I should keep track of if the person who made the pattern could even beat it. You know? I also want to make it so bullet the things have a timeout. There's no timeout system right now. Just kind of dumb. Thank you, Ray. It's all just chipping at it little bit by little bit, you know? Until eventually, once you look at it as a whole, after like a few months, it starts to look quite cool. But if you go back and look through the VODs... You mean lifetime? No, I mean timeout. Like in, in Toho, when you fight a spell card, you can like just wait 60 seconds and dodge everything, and they'll eventually stop. So if you just successfully dodge, even if you don't kill the boss... If you just successfully dodge, you'll win. But the idea is by shooting the boss, hopefully you kill the boss faster than that. I don't, know, I don't know how points work. I don't know if you get more points for dodging. For Elbow, you're making a target practice game in C-sharp and you don't know when you're going to start. What do you mean by target practice game? Are you doing it in Unity or, or what? Man, I love these rotational bullets. An aim trainer. This is like an actual game. It is, hey. No, not allowed to use bullet. Not allowed to use Unity. What are they expecting you to do? Are you doing it in like the console or in like a graphical thing? By target practice, do you mean like the things that you get the hoops that you hit? Just in Visual Studio. Okay. What do you use for graphics then? Because Visual Studio is for making like Windows windows. Alright, let's make a main menu. Why am I keeping a track of the game state? They aren't starting until September, but your teachers are so incompetent you'll have to teach yourself everything, which is why summer is going to end up. Yeah, if it's just 2D, it shouldn't be too bad. You're basically just making, like, Brick Breaker, right? But you can angle the ball. Shouldn't be too bad.
Yeah, as long as you can draw shapes to the screen, you'll be fine. Space invaders, but they don't try to attack you. I mean, they don't attack you in space invaders, really, do they? But yeah, I get you. They won't move or anything. Or oh, you could make them move. I remember in, um, I think secondary school, for like PSHE in year like seven, I made a game like the fishing in Link's Awakening, where you can fish up all the um, litter like out of the ocean. It was kind of cool, like a little side-scroller fishing game where you move along the top and you could set a line to go down and back up again. Pretty neat. What am I looking for? Game state, right? Game state start. Game state main menu. Here we go. So we go into draw. Here we go, if we're on the main menu. The background controller should probably have some sort of idea of the game stage, surely. Or at least the level, if the level is zero. Different targets will pop up and users have to try and zoom and try to knock them down using these left and right. Yeah, that'll be easy. Easy race. Easy, 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 easy. Uh, what am I doing? Easy for you with a degree in it. Should be easy for you without a degree in it. If we just have like a player that can move left and right, the targets that are like hit, hitable, and then you go back. That's like a 10 minute, it's like a, it's like a one minute job. You could do it right now, Ray. Go now, zoom. You know what I mean though? It doesn't seem like there's a lot, there's not particularly complex systems in it. Um, no, you couldn't. I mean, it might be like a day or two, but like, I'm sure you could get that done pretty quickly. The hardest part is knowing how they want you to draw stuff to the screen. You know the basics of OOP and C sharp though? You'll be fine. You'll have to make like, what, three object types, like player, bullet, and enemy. You should be cool. Yeah, okay. Um, sorry, I want to make sure the background controller has the game state, right? Does this include the game dot header? It doesn't. Well, that stuff should be in uh, extra structs. And a timer. Yeah, you'll be fine. What should I call it in here? I just state.
I like extra structs. Do you not like it? Hello. You, you have to go to You're too busy on working. You don't see the time flying. It's a zoom in. Woho DLC. Paid DLC. Apparently I'm so tired I'm starting to lose basic motor skills like holding a fork in my mouth. Kinda yikes. Alright, um, anyway, uh, draw. We just go here, we just do, um, if... Oh, it's not main menu, I guess. We just do this for now. Have a look at, I'll have a look at your work, I see block. These are your stairs. Oh, Christ, man. This is some impressive shit. Wait, hang on, what is this? Rhinoceros. This is some impressive stuff, man. Yeah. What an artiste. You are. Well. Pay thirty pounds to download DLC structs header. Hey look, it does work. It's got the game state. So it just doesn't even draw anything if it's on the main menu. I changed colors in time with a beat. Did I? What? No, I found a 3D architecture. It's boring. You want to do more organic stuff. What sort of thing would you like to do? No 50, no 70, no 50 percent? Okay, wait. Actually, I've got a better idea for this. Oh man. Noise generator. I think there's a way to draw. Yeah, it should be the original waifu chan sprite or drawing. 
don't know, for now I just wanted to do this. You know, just variants of that. There must be a way in this program to generate noise, right? Photoshop thing. Generate noise, portion noise samples. Portion noise generate image. Actually, I've got a better idea. I'm just going to take a picture of my carpet. The thing looks like caution noise. Hang on a second. I'm going to upload this to Discord. And then just use that as the main menu spray. My carpet, please ignore. Hello, Baldy. Hello, not Baldy. Now what I do is I go into Discord and I find the image of my carpet that I just uploaded. Tell me this isn't like random noise, by the way. Like, look at that. Who needs a natural noise generator when you have a natural noise generator under your feet? Look at that. Image noise right there. You can see like random bits of like toenail and stuff, it's great. That's actually kind of gross. Useful though. Kind of gross. I don't know if I should be using a picture of my carpet for this. This looks kind of clean, doesn't it? The filter a bit and no one will ever know. Yeah, it's it's a weird carpet design, but it's like done this way, so I think you can't actually see how dirty it is. But I've got to imagine that doing it like this is a pretty good way to see how dirty it is. Yeah, perfect. It's all about using the resources at hand, you know? Okay, this looks kind of clean. So now what you do, right, is you go sprite, you go edit. Adjustments, color curve. And then you just make it a color curve. Like that. Throwing random FX at it. Oh, hang on, I need to replace all the colors in here. Size of the image. Big.
Oi, hello. How's it going? I don't know what I'm doing, but I think it's art. Right? This is what people think is art, right? Doing decent. You're trying to find work for summer to go with you to expect to attempt to expand your class project to a fully fledged game. Ooh, what was your project? Am I crashing a sprite? Do you just want to use this? What is this? Oh, I didn't crash. Is that just like some nice, uh, nice white noise right there? This looks pretty. I think that looks nice. It's just Photoshop white noise. Very good. It's a platform. You made a couple of levels with the main gimmick that after you that you get up to beat the first boss is going back in time and space. Basically, traces recall. Isn't that um Bastion? Oh, oh, you can use thing to go between here. Sorry for flashing, actually. Sorry, chat. Edit FX convolution matrix. Man, these look cool. I like that.
Hey, I'm new, what are you doing? That's a question I'm currently trying to ask myself. I'm really not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure what I am doing. E speckle. I think we're making a game. These are some cool looking effects. Looking good, right? Maybe. He's making a game. You're looking at him messing with people to try and pick up things for work, like order of operations, class systems, and stuff. No idea what everyone else is doing. I think people are just watching because it's funny at this point. You know, I could make this background fade in and out and like glow and stuff. That'd be pretty neat. This is a background, right? This is like a game background. Let's call it menu background. For PNG. Alright. Let's destroy it in the uh, background controller. Yeah. What software is this? That is Ace Brain. I really like Ace Brain. I think it is cool. M menu background. M menu back. This is really hard to type. I've got like a tortilla wrap by my hands here. Ace break, yeah. I can never remember how to spell it though. That's not it. That's not constant, just in case. You might pick it up soon. I really, I'm a big fan of it, honestly. Background controller. Bum, 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 bum. What did I call it? Menu background PNG. I love how I don't remember what I named things, but just because it's me that named it, I can just guess and I usually get it right. It's pretty sick. That's a pretty sick looking background, right? menu texture and menu back texture
So your second gif with the shader effects you added. It was really easy to add once you had a shader, you can totally do that in the background. He was thinking of making it all earthboundy. Like having this like go in and out and fade and stuff, and then adding some stuff in the background that do stuff. Shaders are cool. M and you back. It's brand. Yeah, I saw the um, rainbow beams. They look pretty sick. There's like two lines in the fragment shader. That's not quite right. Oh, whoops. Nice else, by the way. Alright, so that's not working. Well, let's just try passing in stuff for a second. Like, I know it doesn't tick, but still. No, wait, you wanted me to call you something else, didn't you? What was it again?
How goes the way though? It's going well, thank you, Emma. Oh, you're generating a sine wave, are you? Hey! What's up? Oh, sorry, man. Okay. What's right? The rap is good. Nice bopping. Let's see what this does. Have you changed your mind about music with vocals recently? No, I changed it a while ago. I like Toho music with vocals. Why is that still not doing anything here? Strange that nothing's getting drawn at all, I'll be honest. You may be updating, but are you drawing it? Yeah, I guess draw isn't getting called. I mean, it was drawing stuff before Donut. It was just drawing the first, um, the first tick of the grassy background, remember? Yeah, I used to be only instrumentals, but... I mean, lyrics in foreign languages might as well be instrumentals, honestly. You know? Like, they're conveying some sort of, like, emotion and stuff, but I can't understand exactly what they're saying. So it's sort of like listening to a vocal piano. I'm trying to reckon that thing called food, what do you miss? The voice is an instrument, after all. Well, yeah. That's how I feel about it. Weeb. There's some good Toho music in, like, German as well. It's not just Japanese. Here's the draw stuff. If the background controller draw, like it always draws, then not. Um, it was drawing before. The only stuff happening in tick is actually the star stuff, so that's fine. But in um, oh actually, oh so please don't overflow stuff. Oh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know why. Bam. My mistake. Ah! It's because it is moving it. Okay, cool. I should give it a different shader. Menu shader. Oh, it's sending it over that space. It shouldn't be. I 
I guess it shouldn't draw to the in background target. Yeah. I listen to a lot of Shibian Records stuff. This is Kokoro Vibration. The shade of the one that's skewed. Yeah, I probably shouldn't do target or clear, I know. Like this. I don't get why it's squished though. I guess it's the squished size, but it's just not offset. Why is the menu like that? Great question. Great, great question. I'm not using the M background target though, so surely this sizing thing shouldn't matter, right? Oh, unless it's this thing. Hmm. Yeah, no, actually, it doesn't make sense. It's this. Yeah, I get you. Hey. Make a new shader. How much of a pain is that? Bean dot frag. I'm gonna make a menu shader called menu dot frag menu dot bird. Just copy it already have. Yeah, that'll be the idea. What's this cool shader you sent me? Bean dot frag. I guess the vert can stay the same. Maybe. Projection matrix. I don't know. I want to put in this thing that you have. Text texture and time. Yeah, I know, Donut. Don't worry about it. Alright, some things don't matter. Um. Ok, 
Okay, just going back a few moves, that should be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a... The vertex shader currently does some skewing. Is that this crap? Should I just do nothing in here? Or won't? Remove the dot w line. Okay. That looks horrible. It doesn't need the angle algorithm uniform anymore. Oh, you're right, yeah. Time is a constant zero. That's weird, because it was moving earlier, Donut, when I put in the movement one. See? I'll have a double check to make sure this is being round, but it was moving earlier. I don't know if you missed that bit. You're right. So it's a constant zero there, not because it's not updating, but because we're not setting it in draw. Trippy. I don't really want it to do the the, the vertical movement thing. Let's have a look and see. I mean, I want the like cool wobbling. Okay, this changes the colors. That's pretty. Doesn't really go with the Game Boy thing, but um, I, I wanted to just wobble, you know? I don't want to physically move up off the top of the screen, you know? Like, which part of this is forcing it to move up permanently? Change the amplitude of the sine wave. What? Why would that help? Was that just move it so slowly it wouldn't look to do anything, or what? That's the frequency, not the amplitude. Okay. Oh, this bit. This is 0 0.5. Being half the screen. Okay. Off it goes. I don't want it to really move off the bottom of the screen. Remove the time outside the time wave. Like this. Hey, bro. Here we go. This is what I wanted. But less exciting. I want the frequency to be lower. Yeah, that's neat. I think I should set the scale to be much higher. Shaders are fun. They're really cool. I should change the position on the screen though. How do I do that? Guess I could bring this back. I 
Okay, that didn't do anything. How, do, how should I move this position? You want to use set position on the sprite. Oh, right. This is unnecessary for the background, okay. That's to stop it from drawing outside the screen, right? Well, this isn't going to do anything, is it, actually? Wait, hang on. This is going to center it around the middle, isn't it? Yeah. But if I make it twice as big... It's by grubs. I can make the frequency much higher. I don't know, I'm just gonna randomly change numbers and see what happens. Yo. Exciting. You can music's good. It's kind of lewd. Try changing the phase as well. I hope no one's looking at this with um, photo sensitivity. Oh my god. That's cool. I think it was more than 137 we used. God, shaders are so cool. It's like a printer error, doesn't it? It is very colourful. Ooh! I have no idea what's going on here. Use playable characters when you have this. It's like a broken CRT, yeah. Diagonal? Is that this? Oh, that.
I don't quite get what's on the on the diagonal there, honestly. Yeah, it's probably the texture. Huh? That's terrible. The only bad part is you can't see the buttons. Buttons? I can bring back donuts one with this. Which went render question mark? Because I got rid of a close bracket. Oh it does work. It looks so tame in comparison, doesn't it? Oh the press space stuff. Oh yeah, right. Just randomly adding cosine. Yeah. Like fifty instead of fifteen. Yeah, play. The play is definitely faster. Now that, that's an effect. I don't know what it is, but that is an effect. I have no idea what it's doing. Looks neat though. What happens when it runs out of Sprite? When it just inevitably run out? Or does it not? I think you change a couple of numbers and it makes everything look completely different. The special of maths. I could make variables R, G, and B. How about plus equals? Or does that just go straight to Y? Oh, 
Oh, wait, it doesn't need to build, does it? It's just a file. Alright, oh, it doesn't work. Okay. I'm just changing like random stuff to see what happens. I shouldn't be building. This is really fun. And then sometimes nothing happens. It just moves it. But it's not M, is it? Is it W? What's the other one? There's X, Y, Z and then another one. W, yeah. Yo, he's zooming. Where's he going? Oh my word, that is cool. Look at that. It's like a weird 3D effect. Where do it be going? Okay, let's let's make this thing. Let's make this thing. Uh... It's literally 3D. That's really cool. That you're changing the W. Neat. Oh my word. I can't believe this is just a picture of my carpet. <laughs> I just remembered. That's so strange. It's making you feel sick. Apologies. Oh my god. Where's it going? This is how Mode 7 works, but on less drugs. It's so cool. Hello, dead pixel. By the way. Ooh. Wait, hang on. What does what does this number modify? Is that just the alpha? I can't tell. 
Surely not, right? Yeah, you think it's just the alpha? Divide by 0 0.5. What does that do? I wish we had more colors. I feel like we're maxed out far too fast. Alright, what, what are you recommending for the variables, Donut? Float R, float G, float B, and then just post that in, maybe. Is that the stuff in here? Is that what the VEC4 stuff is? Video games, huh? I'm back into a normal video game. Yeah. Stuff really went uphill after we realized what OpenGL does, huh? Bombs do like nothing to the boss. And there's the main menu, in case you forgot, yeah. stuff going on right now. Do you like my own unique idea of Project Woho? It's mine, do not steal. <laughs> okay, it's too much flashing. It is a bit of a raid, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh, it needs a frequency, does it? Yeah, I know. I'm, I know about the co-signing stuff, but just curious about what's gonna happen. Two thousand one, a space odyssey. Two thousand one, a woho odyssey. I know sign one might just be one, but I'm wondering why I might want to just put in there. All right. Do we have to put sign like time in there or something? No, just frequency. Like that. That's not it. It's a very strange program we've written. It's like going somewhere, but where? It's like it weirdly breathes and grows. It's to equal instead of minus equals. Oh, that's like perpetually moving it, isn't it? We've made a nice little gradient. Friendly gradient. You know what, that main menu stuff should probably be darkened out, right? Quite strange. The formula is result equals amplitude multiplied by sine frequency plus time plus phase. You're just posting a lot of things, brother, but they aren't how to make wacky backgrounds. They're why the wacky backgrounds look wacky. And you know how it works in maths. You never explain the joke. You just hope it works. And then complain when it doesn't. That is the way it should be.
The formula is result equals amplitude multiplied by frequency times time plus phase. I mean, I guess this could be the other way around. I know, don't know. I'm just being a pain in the ass. Can I explain? Can I uh, blame it on being tired? I'd like to blame it on being tired. All, all in favour of that being okay. You suck. Ah, you over there. Do you sign time will give you a constantly change of value between minus and one and one and you can modify other things to change the position or colour? Okay. I mean, this looks pretty pretty, honestly. That is a nice rainbow. Maybe the alpha's too high. Hello. If you had time to all the coordinates for the rest of the stuff, it would zoom the texture away and it won't come back. Oh, it's because time's outside here, yeah. There's some really cool effects we're making. It's like an earth, it actually is like an earthbound, like boss arena, isn't it? You should remember these effects for boss fights. Players are still far photo vibration.
How would I want to rotate it as well? Just for a bit of kooky fun. What is rotation? That's just moving the pixels around, like, physically, right? Oh, off he goes. Ah, into the infinite. And then he comes back. Change the amplitude. I'm always curious to see where he wants to go. Where is he going now? Where next on this new adventure? Kind of math too. Okay. Actually, that will be a somewhat of shock, won't it? I was like, how did I get that cool cone before? Hey, I see. Oh, here we go. A little trippy. Maybe. 
We can do it without changing the color as well if you want to see what that looks like. Maybe I need to do that. I could have a bunch of different phases. Dude. Text. Why is the phase changing with the Y? I don't know. Just looking for different visual effects. Don't think too hard about it. The GL rotator. F oh my god. Now this is cool. I think the Z also go minus. See what happens. It's like random what it does. I'm randomly changed up to cosine for fun. W is like the scaling of the whole thing, right? Into the screen space. Like we have the set. If you set the if you set the W to two and the W to one, the two will be like, and the one will be like. I'm trying to make it strange, Yuma. That's the idea. Does it look less weird if you comment 915? I'm trying to make it look weird though, is that not weird? Ooh, that does look cool though. That's a good idea. Just like randomly change stuff. That's kind of neat. I mean, that's a pretty cool main menu, right? Randomly change stuff around. Ooh. I like demo. Demos are such cool things to look at. Like these older, I know, I know they might still be done, but like these old ass machines running stuff. Like super cool 3D looking effects. Making it rotate sounds difficult. How does GL rotate work? Sampled music and classy graphics. Would this be easier to do in the vertex trader? Would the rotate be easier to go? 
I like this like like sort of squishy effect that happens here. Do you see like this ripple? Like screen tearing effect. I want that but also in the other direction. This isn't C++, this is um, GS DLSL right now I guess? What does that work in here? Yeah, we're, we're texturing each individual pixel, I guess, so it would totally take quite a lot of maths. Did you just write that up or did you yoink it from one of your projects? Ford equals vex vector2 coordinate.x resolution. Oh, so I guess you're finding it based on the screen where, where it should be on the screen based off the resolution. And then using the old sines and cosines to rotate it as well. Yeah, okay. Theoretically, I could rotate the whole thing when it's getting drawn on screen, but that wouldn't look so cool. That sounds pretty cool. Coordinate equals the x value, based on where it is on the screen. The y value, based on where it is on the screen, multiplied. What does mat2 mean? Cosine factor, sine factor, minus sine factor, minus cosine. You have to manually do the sine, cosine maths and move the pixel to its new value on x and y. I see. One cool thing that you can do on 3D is make the texture seem similar. So it'd be cool if you did something like that. What do you mean? I could make the texture seamless. Originally it was going to have a border though, because this was just going to be an overlay with the crazy stuff behind it. Can you try doing that then? What make the texture seamless? Uh, I think it would be a big pain in the bum. Because I've already done like a bunch of more, uh, editing to it. I don't know how I feel about changing it further. Wouldn't be impossible though. Like I can, but I can't be asked. Yeah, it's why it's the origin top left. I was thinking about like we could make the origin somewhere else. Yeah, if you do plus equals, it will just move to left. That's what we're doing on the regular. Oh, what did I do? I don't know what I've done. X plus equals where it kind of squished. Ooh. Wait, hang on. I've broken something. I don't know what. X plus equals. Let's try that. Why, sorry? Yeah, you need to use time somewhere. Just equals I meant. 
Ooh. Squinch. It's not using signs so it never unsquishes. Just throwing the sign there. I'm sure it'll work, right? Hey, I love it. Just put sign around time alone. Does the sign value force it to wrap around constantly? Or does the, the sign... Function? What would you call it? Yeah, it goes from minus one to one. Okay. And then back down to minus one. That's quite cool. Just equal you man. Have you never seen what the sign function looks like? I don't know. We didn't do it in school. Or well, if we did do it in school, that was one of the days that I was just not there. Signs and you keep blah blah blah. It's like opposite divided by hypotenuse. No, I have no idea what I'm looking at. Yeah, it's the most basic wave. Yeah, it's the the nitrogen offsets of tracing a circle. Yeah. What does like the C++ function for it actually do though? In the library, at least back and forth between minus one and one. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, it's like four o'clock, and I've been live for quite a while. It just does the same. Does it literally just do that divided by that? That's why it's sort of expensive because it's doing a division. Oh, this is getting multiplied. Squishy. Okay, well, anyway, I'm starting to get a bit of a headache. Um, I'm going to win the stream for now. Thank you everyone for watching. We'll be back in three hours with some Osu. If you're going around a circle with radius one counterclockwise, cosine angle is the x coordinate and sine is the y coordinate. I see. Can you send me a link to understand sine cos? Uh, yeah, yeah, just send us a link. I thought I'd picked up some general ideas through all this programming, but I think I guess I've never got the uh, very basic bit. All right. Oh, it's 27 seconds long. I've seen this somewhere. I see. Thank you. Can you see it? It goes like that. Yeah, it's really quite cool. Maths is cool. I wish I like cared more about it when I was back in like secondary school because it was so boring. I feel like if they'd have showed us like all of this, uh, all of the cool practical applications of it, it would have been way more interesting than just filling out stuff in a tiny piece of paper. What are we doing? Oh, sorry, we were just screwing around with um, shaders. F sin cos. It's an x86 construction that computes them. Oh. It's just like a built-in instruction on the f86 architecture. CPUs. What are the- there's like a tr there's like a bunch of unused um, instruction sets on x86, right? Is ARM meant to remove a bunch of those? I forget. Like, I remember there was like a big reason beyond just... Haha <laughs> Intel that Apple was moving to ARM, and a bunch of people wanted to change over to something other than x86. Like there were a bunch, I don't know. I thought it was that there were a bunch of instructions that no one uses anymore. Yeah, use the lookup tables are because, because sine and cosine are very long to calculate it. Yeah, and I guess we don't really need to know the exact for a lot of things like this. And we don't need to know the exact to like a trillion decimal places. Architectures? I don't know. This is all the stuff you yoink out of like one module at uni and like a Linus Tech Tips video. But anyway, yeah. I'm going to end the stream for now. Thanks everyone very much for watching. I had a good time. 
spent like an hour at the end screwing around with shaders. They're just really cool. It's just insane. Like the stuff that you can do, and it like it basically takes no frame rate seemingly to run. It's pretty neat. Also, that this is a picture of my carpet. You came at the wrong time. Yeah, sorry. We've been low for like five over five hours now, though, so it's important to take a break. I've been very tired today. But um, t today is my like Friday, so tomorrow I'll be setting up the schedule for the next week coming up. So we'll schedule in more C plus plus stuff. So don't don't worry if you want to see more of that. It's a pic it's actually a picture of my carpet <laughs> that I screwed around with an ace break for a bit. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, so I'll be doing the schedule tomorrow for the week, but I'll just pass on a host now to CJ, I guess. He's playing some MVM. Go say hi to CJ. I'll be back in three hours. Yeah, we're doing texture sampling, exactly. I'll be back in uh, three hours with some Osu, or if I'm too tired, we'll play Slate the Spire, but we'll see what we do. Go say hi to Siege. See you all in a bit. Goodbye.